Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So, this video is going to stay short, sweet, and straight to the point. Over the past week, I have been sitting here wondering what I was going to talk about for this week's video. And the more I thought about it, the harder it, be it, came, it became to come up with an idea. So I kind of thought to myself, maybe that could be the video. Maybe just being authentic, open, and honest with you all is enough. And that's what I'm going to do. I thought for a long time, and I had no video idea. I think it's partly because I've been a lot busier than I used to be. I think the other part is there's a lot going on. In the, in the U.S. and with Afghanistan and all of that. And I guess I felt like there was nothing that was appropriate at the time. So I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter whether you're a creator, an entrepreneur, any of those kinds of things. It's okay if you have creators block. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means at the moment, you're just fresh out of ideas. One of the things I'm learning in my life is the more you try to force an issue, the harder it is to achieve the goal or overcome that issue. Sometimes you just have to sit back, relax, or maybe not relax, but just kind of sit back and just let life happen. Let things happen. And before you know it, the thing that you are having such a hard time obtaining or an idea you are having such a hard time getting will come to you out of the clear, clear blue sky. I feel like creators in the YouTube space, Twitch streaming, whatever you do, we beat ourselves up when we can't give you all the quality content that we think you deserve. And I think we forget that the reason why our audience picked us, each specific audience and each creator, is because we are authentic to ourselves. And if we let the audience know that we're not feeling it, if we are brutally honest with our audience, they will stick around because that's why they chose to stay in the first place. So I'm here to tell you, I'm not sorry that I ha don't have a good idea. I think I would have been sorry if I would have come up with some crap and put it out there and you guys just didn't like it to begin with. So I'm not sorry that I don't have an idea for the week, but I am happy that I was able to just sit here and be brutally honest with you all. I hope everyone is doing well. Now that I'm done saying what I need to say, tell me how you're doing. Comment below. Tell me what's going on. How's life? Where are you from in the world or in America? Just tell me something good. Tell me something bad. Just tell me what's going on in your life. If you don't feel like leaving a comment but you still want to respond, you can either email me or you can DM me on Twitter and Instagram, and we'll have an open conversation and an open dialogue. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you got something out of it. I'm hoping that if somebody out there is in a position like me, that we have we feel like you have to come with an, come up with an idea and are struggling, you're not alone. Just keep with it. You will get there eventually. With that being said, have a fantastic weekend. Please get vaccinated, especially if you live in the U.S. It's free. God bless. Bye.